So, uh, first, this video will contain spoilers for episode 4. So, if you haven't seen the episode and you don't want any spoilers, then please click away now. And why come back later when you, once you have already seen the episode. If you have seen the episode or if you don't care for spoilers, then feel free to stay and just enjoy the video. Okay, now let's get started. So, after the review that the timekeepers are fake and that they were actually just mindless androids who were, create, who were created by somebody, then who created the timekeepers? Who created the TVA? Who's the real villain of Loki? Well, I have an amazing theory that, will t that I will tell you in this video that fits perfectly with MCU plans and will blow your mind away. But first, hi, hope you're having a great day. You're watching Jam Entertainment. Uh, please make sure to leave a like if you enjoy this video or if you find it informative and it really helps the video out, so please leave a like. Also, subscribe so you can get more Loki coverage like this video. I have a bunch of more videos. I will link a Loki playlist in the corner because I have so much videos I'm just going to make a playlist to it. Uh, also, leave me a comment down below on what are your own theories and thoughts of episode 4 of Loki. I'll leave my thoughts on episode 4 down below too. Okay, now let's get started. So my first theory was that it was Ravonna Renslayer, which is this girl, the one that killed Mobius. Disappointed. But uh, her, uh, I thought it was her, but then I was like, no, definitely not because, uh, and we see the flashback whenever Sylvie comes to the TVA, she was just a hunter. So then I was like, I guess it can't be her because she was just a hunter. She started from the bottom like everybody else. But then I was like, what if it's Ruona from the future? Uh, I mean, we're dealing with time traveling in this show. Ravonna also seems to know a lot more than anyone else. And maybe it's because future Ravonna chose to tell her herself, her past self. And maybe by the end of the series, she ends up being uh, in stasis. or Which is what how she is most of the time in the comics uh, for King the Conqueror. So I definitely think that uh, it could make sense if she, was, she ended up being the main villain. But I... Like I said, this was my original theory, but then I was like, you know what? I don't think that makes a lot of... Like, I don't think it would be great because I don't think she has a motivation. Uh, so that's why I was like, you know what? I don't think uh, I don't think she's a villain. I mean, why? what's her motivation for creating the TVA? I don't think it makes sense. I think she already plays a huge part in the show, and I don't think we need a future Ravonna to just complicate things. So here is where it comes my huge, amazing... Uh, brilliant uh, theory that I have. At least I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So here's my theory. So my theory is Miss Minutes. It has been said that Miss Minutes will play a huge part in the show. Yet there hasn't been something super huge for her. Like she had uh, pretty important parts, but it wasn't like huge, huge. And um, whenever they said that she was going to play a huge part in the show. So what does she ended up being? The villain. Yes, I know the villain. We don't know to what extent she can think for herself or if she's being controlled or uh, if she's being controlled to do certain stuff. But what if she ends up being the main villain of Loki? Or she was put in charge of the TVA or was created to run the TVA to manipulate the timeline to get one end result. That would make a lot of sense because clearly she seems to be in charge of everything. And for the finale, she controls the whole TVA weapons, the agents, and it's an all-out war with Loki versus the TVA. That would be awesome. And then the last fight will be Miss Minutes herself, uh, herself like a, like Miss Minutes. Um, and I mean, she was dodging Loki whenever he was trying to hit her in episode two. So that means that she can feel things, right? I mean, she was moving, she was moving, trying to dodge him. I feel like if it would have not done anything to her, she would have stayed still and then the paper would have drawn through her. So I definitely think that uh, she exists. I definitely don't think that she's just like a hologram or anything like that. I think she genuinely exists in like that. I think she looks like that, but she exists like that. I mean, remember, this can come from the future. Maybe there's future beings that look like that. So yeah, I don't think she exists like that. And like a, she kind of looks like a projection. But isn't really because I don't think that she would have dodged if it was just a projection. So that's why I think that we could see all the all the Loki's going against Miss Minutes. So maybe this is how the final battle could happen in Loki. There's there will be multiple Miss Minutes because she can probably duplicate herself with the technology that she has, versus uh, multiple Loki's or Loki fighting and going through time with the doors, and it would just make for an epic fight if they kept going through time. 
uh, through different scenarios and all that. I think it would be really cool. And then fighting inside the TVA, where she can go, where she can go inside technology, like seen in episode two, whenever she went inside the computer. And uh, ultimately, she gets defeated, but in the grand finale, which is this place for the person who created her to show up in another MCU project, and that person being Kang the Conqueror. And he will show up in the project Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. It all fits together, all the pieces fit together, and I think that would be awesome. And maybe he created the TVA to stop the Creep vs. Scroll War from destroying all of humanity by changing the timeline to lead, uh, by changing timeline things to lead to humanity surviving that war. It doesn't make a lot of sense because there is this motivation in a lot of comics and, and in the underrated but amazing cartoon Earth's Mightiest Heroes, which I would definitely recommend, where in that cartoon Captain America not dying in the ice whenever he was trying to save people from that bomb, uh, where Captain America not dying from the, in the ice caused uh, the timeline to get disrupted and caused uh, the reason to change to where humanity died from the scroll and Kree War. So, I definitely think that this will make a lot of sense if this is its motivation. And, as you already know, the scrolls are already in the MCU, as are the Kree. And the scroll Kree War is already happening, as seen in Captain Marvel, which, you know, it's already set up. It's all set up, and we already see that a no main project is going to be Secret Invasion. And Secret Invasion is part of that war. They're trying to gain Earth to be able to have an uh, advantage against the Kree. So in this war, so it's all starting to come together, and I think it's an amazing, amazing theory that just fits the MCU perfect. And I definitely uh, would expect this from the show. I think it would be awesome. I think it would give an amazing finale for the final fight, going through time, fighting Miss Minutes, using different technology from the TVA to fight uh, against Loki and, and a bunch of Lokis because there's going to be multiple Lokis. And I think it would be uh, great. I, th- I definitely think it would be great. So, obviously, or probably, uh, the TVA will get destroyed by the end of Loki. Meaning that humans will probably uh, die during the scroll and Kree War. They'll probably get wiped out. So, Khan will have to finally himself come in with his spaceship and his time-traveling technology and all that to fix that himself. And maybe whenever the TVA is destroyed, uh, Renslayer or Renova uh, gets hurt or even dies. So, then in the future... Whenever, wherever it comes from, uh, and if he's probably married to Renovo or Renslayer, uh, she's kind of already disappearing, and she ends up in stasis, uh, which is how she is uh, usually in the comics, like I said previously. So this fits a lot with the uh, comic book story, and I think it sets up perfectly uh, Kang's motivation for being a villain, because uh, his love of his life, Renova or Renslayer, would be hurt, so that would definitely cause Kang to go furious. And then he, his plan of saving humanity from the Scroll Creek War, it's uh, destroyed. So I would definitely cause him to be furious, and I would definitely cause him to come, had to come get out. Uh, to I would definitely cause him to come out, and then had to do things himself. Because right now he's probably living in the future with uh, Renslayer, had a happy life, uh, knowing that the TVA has done their job for the timeline. But then if the timeline gets disrupted and it goes to madness, as the thing said. Then, uh, he, or Kang would definitely have to come out and do things himself, as Thanos has said once. This definitely sets up another Avengers level threat, which would be awesome to see the Avengers fighting Kong, Kang the Conqueror going through time and all that. I think it would be incredible to see that. And that's probably the next big, big villain. Uh, I definitely think his, ending, his end is going to be in Am and the Wasp Quantumania. I think that's only his start. But uh, I don't have a full theory for that. Obviously, we've no very details for that. But yeah, this is my theory for Loki, uh, for the Loki show, for who the main villain is, for uh, who created the TVA, who created the Timekeepers. I think uh, it fits perfectly with everything. I hope you think it fits perfectly with everything. If you do think it fits perfectly with everything, tell me in the comments down below or tell me if you have a different theory about who created the Timekeepers and who created the TVA. Uh, I would definitely, I'm definitely very curious to hear different theories. So tell me down below in the comments who, who you think the main villain is of Loki. Also, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, uh, or if you like my theory and all that type of stuff, or if I give you great ideas, anything, just leave a like, it really helps me out, so please leave a like, and like I said, subscribe for more uh, Loki coverage, 
uh, special theories. Uh, most of my coverage is a lot of theories, so definitely make sure to subscribe for more theories like this if you enjoyed this video. I uh, definitely think you'll enjoy the rest of my content. So please uh, uh, subscribe for more like this. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And this is Jeremy Entertainment. Out.